Elon Musk is building a hyperloop for transportation, which operates on magnetic levitation. Boss, I always fall behind this Musk. This time I'll have to do something before his hyperloop so that the world takes notice. What an amazing thing, engineer. How does this magnetic levitation work, sir? They must be using electromagnets for it. That'll hike the electricity bill. Work it out cheaply. Cheaply? Yes. I have an idea that might achieve magnetic levitation rather inexpensively then. It's got to be with a magnet, right? Opposite poles attract and like poles repel. If we cut a magnet to separate the North Pole, and attach them to both the vehicle and the road. Repulsion will make the car float, allowing it to travel without friction as it glides over the surface. Ignore all other concerns, start prototyping immediately. A few days later, the prototype was ready and it was time for testing. The engineer got in the vehicle. It ran a short distance all right, but as soon as it went further, it flipped and stuck to the road. Hey engineer, why did the vehicle stick so firmly to the ground? Did you attach magnets featuring north and south poles rather than aligning north-north poles? Under the car, there was only the north side, sir. But the south side was on top and that's what stuck. Why use the south pole? You were supposed to use the north, right? That's not possible, sir. If positive and negative charges can be separated, then why not north and south? Why not? Just as charge works in an electric field, a magnet must work in a magnetic field, right, sir? I don't know that either. Then a voice came over the feed. I'll explain. Hey, sir, please explain. They don't work the same way. An electric field starts from a positive charge and ends at a negative charge and it can even be produced by a single charge. You don't need to invoke both. A magnetic field always exists in a continuous loop around any magnet. Outside the magnet, it flows from the North Pole to the South Pole. Inside the magnet, spanning steadily from the South Pole all the way to the North, there's absolutely no starting or ending point. It's truly continuous in an endless, unbroken loop. But how is this magnetic field formed? Either it's generated by moving charges or it already exists naturally in materials. How does that happen? A natural magnetic field is created by electrons. Just as an electron has a charge, it also inherently has a magnetic dipole. That is a magnetic field. In normal materials, electrons are distributed randomly in all spatial directions on the microscopic scale, causing their individual magnetic fields effectively to cancel each other out. In magnets, however, these electrons are aligned in one direction, so their magnetic fields add together to form a stronger field. This field is created by electrons, and within each electron, the field exists as a loop. Now, if you cut any magnet, the field won't be severed. After cutting the magnet, its electrons in each separate piece will join their own fields and form new loops, giving each fragment both a north and a south pole if that happens. Then for levitation, you could use an electric field instead of a magnetic field. That is positive, positive or negative, negative charges instead of north, north poles. What do you think? Can levitation work with a strong electric field or will other issues come up?